to another virtual story time with Miss Brittany. I'm so glad that you're able to watch again today. We post virtual story times every Monday and Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. on the library's Facebook page. You can also find these videos on the library's website, which is www.finleylibrary.org. And there is a virtual story time page located under the drop-down kids menu. So that's where to find us. And I'm really glad that you guys have been following along and I hope that you are enjoying story times. This week we are going to talk about bugs. And I'll admit I have a pretty loose definition of what is a bug when I talk about them in story times. So we're going to see some things that maybe don't necessarily qualify but they fall into sort of that uh, family of um, kind of creepy crawly creatures but it's a great opportunity to talk about what does and does not make a bug after you watch story time so I hope you enjoy it even though uh, maybe some of our things today won't actually be bugs so our first song today is I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee it goes like this. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me! I'm squishing up the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up the baby bumblebee. Ew! It's yucky! I'm washing off the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm washing off the baby bumblebee. Look! All clean! So next up we are going to do a finger play that probably a lot of you already know. It's the Itsy Bitsy Spider. And although new songs are always fun to learn. You can't go wrong with a classic. Your kids are never going to get sick of them. So just remember that you don't always have to find new things to do. It's important to revisit those uh, standard rhymes that we all know and love. So let's get our Itsy Bitsy Spiders ready. Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Let's do it again with a great big spider. The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big spider went up the spout again. Good job, guys. Now, if you can think of any other kinds of spiders, you should sing it again uh, at home and see what other kinds of spiders you can do. So we're going to end story time today with my favorite wiggly crawly creature song. It is called Hermie the Worm. And there are some very important things that you have to know how to do when we sing Hermie the Worm. You have to be able to chew your bubble gum like this. And you need to be able to play with your yo-yo just like this. Do what? Do what? So don't forget those motions. Hermie the Worm goes like this. 
sitting on a fence post chewing my bubble gum playing with my yo-yo do what do what when along came Hermie the worm and he was this big and I said Hermie baby what happened and Hermie said Mmm, I ate a blueberry. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo yo, do up, do up. When along came Hermie the worm, and he was this big. And I said, Hermie. Baby, what happened? And Hermie said, hmm, I ate a strawberry. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo-yo, do what, do what. When along came Hermie the worm. And he was this. Big. And I said, Hermie, baby, what happened? And Hermie said, hmm, I ate an orange. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo-yo, do up, do up. When along came Hermie the worm, and he was this big. And I said, Hermie, baby, what happened? And Hermie said, hmm, I ate a pineapple. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Playing with my yo yo, do what, do what. When along came Hermie the worm, and he was this big. And I said, Hermie, baby, what? happened and Hermie said hmm I ate a watermelon sitting on a fence post chewing my bubble gum playing with my yo-yo do what do what when along came Hermie the worm and he was this big and I said, Hermie, baby, what happened? And Hermie said, hmm, I burped, excuse me. Alright guys, that's going to be it for us today. Our at-home activity this week actually comes from Miss Amy. She misses you all very much. And she suggested that this week you try to do a bug scavenger hunt. So um, come up with a list of bugs and other type of creatures that you want to try to find. Um, if you have a child that's already doing some writing, maybe they could write their own list. They should definitely help you uh, make that list of things that they want to try to find um, as you write it. Work on those letter recognition skills. Um, let them do some writing, even if it's just uh, scribbling on the page, because those are also really good pre-writing skills. Uh, and then just go out and see how many things on your list you can find. You can make it uh, really simple things that you're definitely going to see, but also, I mean, get creative and come up with uh, some wild guesses and see if you, you find them when you're out on your scavenger hunt. So have fun with that. I look forward to hearing uh, what it is that you end up seeing when you go out looking. And I will see you guys next time. So thanks for watching.